your life is affected by multiple sclerosis or any other neurological condition, then this channel is for you. So please consider subscribing to be kept up to date with future videos. My name's Liam, and in 2018, I was diagnosed with relapse and remitting MS. Merry Christmas. It's that time of year, always comes around fast, doesn't it? Um, and for those of us with MS there are, or, or other conditions, there are things that we need to consider. Firstly, we want to be able to enjoy the festive period as much as we can. But in order to do that, we do need to be sensible and consider some of the things that we have to consider a lot of the time of year. Just because it's Christmas doesn't mean suddenly we can just go wild. Uh, I mean, very welcome to, but there will be uh, some physical and mental consequences um, for, your, for you and your condition. Christmas is all about getting together with loved ones, um, having you know, good food, good drink, sharing presents and gifts. Uh, and it's, yeah, it's the most wonderful time of the year, isn't it? But for us, it can be problematic and we need to make sure that we're being um, you know, sensible at the right times and uh, considering all the factors um, so that we can enjoy it as much as we can without as much of the sort of, you know, uh, consequences that we would then face if we just went a bit nuts. So good food is a sign of a good Christmas. Um, one of the things that a lot of people look forward to is that carving of the turkey, or you might have some nice beef, uh, plenty of nice roast potatoes, plenty of veg. Um, and it's, yeah, it's a time to, uh, to, to perhaps overindulge, I think everyone does, um, but our post-Christmas hangovers um, are a bit more expansive than traditional, uh, traditional repercussions of Christmas. So when it comes to food, um, in another video I did mention um, Dr. Walls, he talks about the Walls Protocol and Coach Ben, who's a friend of mine, um, and, and there's certain food types that do have a negative impact on those of us with MS, um, and it's worth researching those, and you know, you'll know as well what types of foods um, will, will have an impact on you. Um, there are things that are you know, very heavy grain focused foods, so um, you know, your potatoes and um, things like alcohol, and um, they all have an impact. We know from when we do decide to have a drink that those grains, those sugars, um, do have a negative impact on our body. So it's just about being sensible and not perhaps going too wild, um, but still being able to enjoy yourself. So yeah, if you are gonna have that type of food, which I'm sure we all are, you know, don't go nuts, don't go for those perhaps second, third, fourth helpings, um, you know, perhaps limit or have an idea of how many drinks um, you're gonna have. Um, there's also lots of delicious treats that come along with Christmas, whether it's puddings, you know, Christmas cake, Christmas pudding, um, selection boxes, chocolates, uh, lots of other things. We all have our own little traditions. Those sugars in those foods, again, do have a really um, negative impact on our body. Our gut has to deal with all those and process them, which then affects our immune system and yada yada. So yeah, I'm not saying don't have all those things, because I certainly will, but try and limit, try and be sensible. If you've had a big helping of Christmas dinner, don't go nuts on dessert and chocolates, or if you have had some chocolates and snacks throughout the day, you know, think about what you're going to eat for your main meal. Um, you know, your proteins and your veg are really important um, and they're going to have a good, good impact um, on, your, on your body without having to deal with all the rubbish that comes with it. And then, yeah, you're perhaps in a better position then to, uh, to be able to indulge or overindulge slightly um, with all the other things that come. Um, I think as well, you know, if you haven't already, establishing good routines in your life will help. So then when it comes to Christmas, you kind of know, regardless of everything else, I need to take my medication, I need to make sure my tablets are all up to date, I need to be drinking plenty of water, uh, I need to be having all those things that I know make me feel good and make me feel better and give me energy. Um, so, you know, not just relying on caffeinated drinks all day to keep yourself going, um, but, you know, being sensible and drinking plenty of water, uh, keeping hydrated and not overindulging in, in, in everything else. It's also really important just to perhaps remind those that we are spending the festive period with, not necessarily reminding them of our condition because they know what we have, but just being, you know, making sure that they're mindful that if you do overdo it or you want to help out as much as you can, you know, you might need some rest. If you're getting up early, if you've got young children, you know, you want to make sure that their, their Christmas is really special. Um, and then you want to be helping out getting getting the meals ready and things like that. But if you do need a break, if you do need a rest, you just need to, to be able to, to communicate that with the people you're with and say, listen, I'm trying my best, um, you know, and I want to get involved as much as possible, but I, I am struggling a bit now. So I'm just going to have, you know, five minutes, 20 minutes, half an hour, um, just to recover and sit down, rest, perhaps have a little, a little nap, um, you know, recharge our batteries so then we can go again and, uh, and enjoy the rest, of the, um, the rest of the day. So yeah, just being open and honest with everyone that you're with, make sure that they know, um, you know, when you do need a break um, and that you are wanting to get involved and help out and, and do all the other jobs that are, you know, that's tidying up, cooking, washing up. Um, and you also want to be able to enjoy the day as well. So yeah, just communicate that with the people that you're with. Um, it's Christmas, it's a time for understanding and, and getting together. So 
Um, there's no off switch, unfortunately, for us, so we need to be mindful of that um, when we're trying to do as much as we can um, over the festive period. One thing that always bothers me when it comes to Christmas, I'm, I don't know if I'm just weird like this, but I don't really, like, I feel uncomfortable receiving presents. I'm always very conscious of my reaction and what people think when they've given me a present, because I think giving a present's much better than receiving a present. I love to see people's faces when I've gotten a gift, um, but the other way around, I know they want to see my reaction. Um, and sometimes if you're not feeling great, or you're feeling, you know, you're struggling particularly at that, po that point in time, you don't want people to feel disappointed. So a little trick that I learned, or that someone's shared with me, is make sure when you're opening the present, when you're opening the gift, have quite a neutral reaction. Just be quite plain faced. So that when you open the gift, you can then smile, be happy, oh, thank you, this is great. Um, because I find if, if you try and sort of smile and look happy when you're opening it, you're like this, and you open it, naturally your face might just rest and drop. And then you start to say, oh, that's great, brilliant, thank you. But it kind of looks like a forced reaction and people might think, oh, I don't really like it. Then you feel a bit, you know, head up and then you start to get worried. Um, I don't know if that's an NS thing or, or something else, but um, you know, I find it sometimes hard to hide how I feel. And sometimes that can make people think that I'm not grateful or I don't like what they've given me. Um, so yeah, just being uh, yeah, neutral, open. Um, always find that helps for me. Uh, yeah, again, I don't know if that's an MS thing, but you know, if it helps, it helps. Uh, but yeah, so the main message is this is Christmas. It comes around once a year. There's lots of things we enjoy, particularly if we've got a young family, you know, you want to make it special for them. So know your limits, work within them. You can obviously enjoy yourself, but just know the consequences of what happens when you do uh, and whether you're prepared to live with that for however long it will last afterwards. So yeah, um, eat, drink and be merry. Uh, but, you know, also be sensible and mindful and work with um, your MS. One of the expressions that I learned, um, I've mentioned in other videos, is, you know, we don't battle MS, we negotiate with it and, and we have to accommodate it. We can't just say, hey, MS, can I have Christmas off? Because that, that, that request will be declined. Um, so, yeah, just work with it and be mindful of what the things you're putting into your body does and how much you're doing will and how that will affect you. But primarily, really want everyone to enjoy themselves. I know I really want to enjoy myself and spend time with my family. Um, so yeah, enjoy. And um, yeah, I just wanna say a Merry Christmas to everybody. And um, you know, it's, it's been another crazy year and we're still here, we're still battling on, we're still, we're still fighting. Um, but you know, enjoy yourself and uh, yeah, make the most of the, uh, of the festive, uh, the festive festivities as I said in the video. Um, and yeah, enjoy yourself. So Merry Christmas from me and the uh, Living With MS channel. Thank you to everyone that supported the channel as we started it early this year. It's been tremendous fun. Um, we are trying to grow it. So things that help promote and help other people with MS is if you like the video, if you comment, if you subscribed, and if you watch the video all the way to the end, then um, that's really gonna help the people with MS because it's gonna try and push that video out to others. And we can try and grow this community because MS is better together. Um, you know, we can share our stories, our concerns, and things that work for us. So the more people we can get involved over, you know, over Christmas, and we can start next year helping even more people, um, that's, that's wonderful and uh, music to my ears. So yeah, thank you for everything this year. Have a wonderful Merry Christmas um, and enjoy the new year. And uh, yeah, I'll look forward to sharing more content with you in 2023.